Hello YouTube and welcome to Birnbeck Pier, which may look like a collection of decaying bits of iron and wood, but to most of Somerset's residents, the old pier as it's affectionately known holds a special place in their hearts. It was built over 150 years ago and over the years until it finally closed in 1994 played host to hundreds of thousands of visitors and was a top attraction in Western Supermare as well as being home to Western's lifeboat station for most of that time. The late 1800s saw a big growth in holiday resorts like Weston, as better working conditions and the continued development of the railway enabled people to travel further afield and take advantage of all the seaside had to offer. A jetty was added to the pier in 1872 to accommodate steamers that operated up and down the Bristol Channel, linking the towns of England and Wales on either side. Public houses were closed on Sundays in Wales, so the licensed bar on the pier became a popular attraction with the Welsh day trippers as they came in search for a pint. Many did not even venture into the town itself, preferring to remain on the pier all day before having to catch the steamer back home again. This constant stream of visitors and holiday makers meant the pier became a real hub of activity and the excitement with fairground rides and cafes and amusements that featured all the latest mod cons in entertainment. It even had its own telephone installed in 1891, decades before they came into common use. But even these early prosperous days were not without their issues and I believe as we start to look at these adversities we start to understand why Birnbeck Pier is so fondly regarded. Perhaps you can remember back to when the Millennium Bridge first opened in London and a certain resonance of foot traffic caused the bridge to become unstable. A similar thing happened on the pier's opening day when marching bands crossed the piers and also happened again several years later so additional horizontal cross braces had to be added and a law was passed to prevent people marching on the pier. On 26th of December 1897 a raging fire burnt all of the attractions to the ground but the local people were determined not to lose their flagship and built it back bigger and better adding new structures, many of which still stand to this day, and a brand new jetty that extended further into the sea, allowing steamers to dock throughout the day irrespective of whether it was high or low tide. Time and time again, the people of Weston went to the rescue of its pier, building it back stronger every time with wood giving way to concrete and iron to steel. The turning point came when Birnbeck had to be closed to the public during the Second World War. Birnbeck Island was required to house secret weapons development, most notably Barnes Wallace and his bouncing bomb. And in 1941, it was commissioned HMS Birnbeck. The pier reopened after the war, but struggled to compete with the Grand Pier which opened its new amusement arcades in 1946 and the need for steamer travel was diminishing as the family motor car became more widespread. By the 1960s, Western Supermare, like most of Britain's seaside towns, began to suffer against the rising popularity of the package holiday abroad that could guarantee something the UK would never be able to sunshine. The pier changed hands several times over the next three decades and despite many different renovation proposals being put forward, none ever came to fruition and the pier became so neglected it was no longer safe to stay open to the public and finally closed its doors in 1994. The RNLI continued to use Birnbeck and built a small walkway down the left hand side of the pier to give them safe access to the lifeboat station, but eventually even they had to abandon the island and find an alternative home at Nightstone Harbour on the mainland. In 1999, the
The old pier was put on the Heritage at Risk Register by Historic England, and a repairs notice was issued to the owners, but has not been complied with. The pier is now classed as a Priority A concern, at immediate risk of further rapid deterioration or loss of fabric. But this is not the end of Birnbeck's story. At the beginning of this year, an RNLI spokesperson told the Western Mercury, after investigating other sites over 20 years, our property on Birnbeck Island remains the only site we are aware of in Western that fully covers the life-saving need and minimises the chances of preventable loss of life. So like many of Weston's residents, the RNLI still believe that Birnbeck Pier is worth saving, and are currently supporting North Somerset Council's application, guided and funded by Historic England, for a compulsory purchase order with the view that it will be able to return to the island and begin a new chapter in the life of this unique structure. If you would like to support the restoration effort to restore this pier, or simply wish to know more, please click the links in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for our next videos.